hi friends what's this window i can expand this window by using this button and or i can drag it to expand it height and width or i can use this buttons to zoom out or zoom in whatever way i want and i can prevent this expanding or this dragging and changing the width also or i can just click this to go full screen and let me come back yeah we'll learn all this we'll start from here i just imported uh, kinter then this created my parent window not used and two variables width and height i have used now using this let's create our window so for that i am just creating one variable v underscore d means its dimension what i mean and now i am converting my width and height to string because i'll be adding it so i'll say plus now sorry here it is plus now x operator then again plus because it is i had to write in in the particular format what to give the dimension height and width to my window so again i am converting it to string height so both height and width i have converted to string and created a variable v dim now this variable i will use it to create my window my underscore w my parent window at line number 2 i declared geometry now what i have geometry i am now i am giving the dimension here so this variable now it's just i can directly write this also copy it and write it here i've just used a variable fine now let's just add a title also my underscore w dot title i am right you can write anything you want plus to net dot com fine so i i just sorry here i will write a comment here now that's all now let me just keep my window open so it, you know it's a loop i have to so for that main loop so now my window will open it's just a blank window a small window 300 by 200 let's just save this and see once where it is here it is i have all the option to resize this window i can expand it zoom it and resize by dragging all these options are there now let me just control this so for that what i will write i'll write my underscore w resizable now i'll say width i will make it width equal to 0 means i am not don't want that width to be control height let me keep it 1 so i am saving this and then i am going for this running the window again here it is now you can see i have width equal to 0 i i cannot drag it width because it restrict my width and this also but height i have allowed so let me just height i can increase it now suppose what happens to this this if i will click this i am sorry here it is just out of screen here it is like this it has again i am just doing it it, it has ex vertically expanded but uh, height uh, width remains the same now suppose i disable this to i close that window and now a uh, height also i make made it zero what happens now i am running it again here you can see this also this is disabled i cannot uh, expand it and this height width nothing i can control it now let's go and see that how will from the window how will control this let's add a button here so we can uh, will able to uh, run the code and uh, change the size so i'll just remove this and i will first place a button b1 equal to tk dot button now what the text i uh, sorry first my parent window my underscore w then text equal to zoom plus plus we will have another button for minus so oh, whatever text you want to write write it here now let me just place it on the grid b1 that grid row equal to 0 and column equal to 0 so first row first column i am giving it and slightly from the left edge i am maintaining a gap so i am giving some pad x pad y from the top also i maintain some gap sorry here equal to pad y is 10 so it is now my button is ready it just place it does nothing because i have not added any command to this now let me write a function here so this function is my resize now this function also i am supposed to receive a parameter i am not doing that right now what i will do i will say width equal to width plus 10 okay height equal to height plus 
10. I am just increasing by 10. Now that I am applying to my window geometry. So for that, I will just create a string the way I have created it at line number 5. Same thing I will do. str width plus now the x I am writing now again because this width and height are in integer. So I have to convert it to string to create a combined string I am creating plus str now height. So my string is ready. Now I'll apply this to my window. My underscore w now geometry again d. That's all. So this will resize it. But here will be an error. Why? Because I am accessing and changing the width value before assigning it. So for that I will receive this a global. Make it global width height. Now fine. I, I can use the resources from there and change it. But nothing will happen because I have not connected to the my button to this function. So that I will do now. So I am giving command equal to lambda. Now what I it will do? It will execute the function resize. Mm, my sorry, my it is my resize my resize. That's all. So my button is ready and it triggers this global I have used this right let's just run this and see what happens here okay here is my window okay it's increasing but let's add zoom minus to this and one more function also let me add the second button I just copied this placed it here and changing the names to b2 here also I'll first change to b2 and this is right of it so column one I am placing and here uh, I will say zoom minus I don't want plus plus now same command but right now I will pass two parameters so the based on that so I will say increase e is increase and here I will say decrease now that I will receive it here I will say here that condition or whatever you want to write it write it here I will say if my condition equal to say increase then sorry not here here then you increase the width fine uh, if condition sorry here I have to equal to ok now let's come out of it and write a elif you can write else also elif I am giving a condition condition equal to now decrease now what once it is that means the second button is pressed what I will do instead of writing I will just copy this place them here and write that minus here because I want it to suppose my de decreasing scale I want to different it I can increase this 10 value also that's all friends so this will do and this is the common part so after end of it now let's just run this and see what happens here it is so zoom plus we have seen now zoom minus so this has decreased let's make add a button which will make it full screen let me copy this button and paste it here so this is the third button to the right of it I will place it so I will change this to here v3 now the column value should be 2 because earlier it was 0 1 now it is 2 everything now here text let me change it text I will write it full screen or whatever you want to write it you can write it now there is no need to go for this uh, here now I will say here my underscore w my underscore w is my parent window now state state can take this value it is by default it is normal I can zoomed it or I can withdraw it or iconic so these four values so I am using now zoomed other two uh, two you can experiment also so that's all let me just save this and run once here it is full screen now let me just check these things okay zoom uh, plus also now what happens if I'll click it okay it's full screen now I'm just bringing it back so you can just withdraw and iconic changes change it 
and uh, and experiment with that one so that's all this is how we control the our parent uh, window and this is the geometry of uh, of it and uh, request you please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends so and uh, press the bell icon so you'll be notified when as and when we post the frequent uh, we post the new new tutorials we frequently do that and please ask put your questions doubts suggestions your feedbacks in the comment section below accordingly we'll modify and improve our script also and this particular one was uh, based uh, because of a question was asked in another uh, video tutorial where we have zoomed a text bot text area see we have zoomed here the entire window but not the individual components there we have zoomed the component so that link is also there in the description you can read that one once again friends please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching